attacked by two pit bulls as they clawed at his face and he ran towards his home fearing for his life. It happened in Kinston and now the victim, L.H. Clemens, says he is happy to hear that one of his neighbor's dogs is now nowhere near his property. Michael Baldwin joins us live from our Greenville studio with more. Michael? Dave, the dog known as Max was taken to the SPCA for observation. The owner of the pit bull wasn't around, but his family was. And they feel Max would only attack if he was provoked. We do want to warn you, some of the video may be disturbing for some viewers. L.H. Clemens says he was attacked by two of his neighbor's pit bulls last week as he was taking trash to his truck. What I'm doing, fine. The dog named Max, the one believed responsible for the attack, is now in the hands of the SPCA and is not seen in this video. But Clemens says he was attacked by his neighbor's white pit bull as well, which would be sore seen right here. He says the dogs got loose in the front yard. He explains the horrifying event that happened right under his carpet. I tried to tell him and get him all back it up, all the time. Found him a white dog, lunged at me, and hit me upside the head. Mm -hmm. Hit me upside my head, and it was a hell of a lick. He shows us how the dogs knocked him into this brick wall and spun him around. He says he was finally able to muster the strength and make it to the safety of his home. His neighbors have several dogs, including pit bulls and hunting dogs. They wanted you to know a vicious dog would have attacked my camera, but instead, not even a bark. They feel their dogs have been attacked by Clemens' family in the past. I had his reasons. Why is that? Well, they've been sprayed with cans of whatever and shot with BB guns and hit with a cow taser. Clemens says no one in his family has attacked his neighbor's dogs. He's just happy to hear Max won't be back. Well, yeah, I'm glad that one's done. Because it was kind of vicious. The family tell me Walter Payton, the owner of Max the Pitbull, who attacked Mr. Clemens, did offer to put his dog down, but he was told that, that would be unnecessary. Dave and Christine, back to you.